Well, growing up, you know, I was raised in a really positive Christian, uh, Christian family. You know, parents that were really involved in my life, really wanted to see me succeed and uh, really wanted to see me develop spiritually. Church was a big deal. My, my parents had, had been a big part in, in starting a church uh, over in Tampa. Um, so ever since I was a young kid, you know, that was, uh, that was a big deal. That was going to church on Sunday. Um, but it was much more um, just a structured thing in my life, it, more of a, a cool idea rather than something that was actually powerful and meaningful in my life. Right out of high school, I joined the Marines, and um, you know I think it was really a, a big turning point in my life spiritually. Um, I think it really showed how paper thin my faith was, um, and you know going into that environment, if your faith isn't grounded, if you if you aren't firm, then then you're going to really mold into the the environment around you. And um, you know it started off, did my boot camp, did my basic training. And uh, I came back, spent some time in the reserves, and then um, eight months later was, was shipped off to Iraq. And um, I think it was really at that point where I was the furthest away from God, furthest away from, from anything I had ever known. And uh, it just caused me to become an extremely angry person. Um, I was angry with the people I worked with. Um, I, I hated a lot of people. and. Uh, you know, I, I, I had no desire to, to have God in my life and, and have Him um, be anything, anything in my life. Um, I, was, I was addicted to pornography and um, just consumed by all these different things. Um, I, I even remember um, going on a patrol, driving in a Humvee. I was sitting up in the, the turret and I remember just thinking, man, you know, if, if we got hit right now, if I died right now, I wouldn't go to heaven, and that really doesn't bother me. It was kind of this, this hangover of uh, completely rejecting God for, for a year, really, and being out of my own. Um, you know, I had a full bank account, I had an apartment, you know, and, and, and I was really made myself my own master. I could do whatever I wanted, buy whatever I wanted, um, but there was just no fulfillment in it, and I, I hated who I was. I was uh, just a conflicting person between um, used to be kind of good with uh, a kid with good morals um, into a, a completely different person who uh, was just consumed by the world. I actually ran into um, some some girls I knew from years ago, uh, prior to leaving to Iraq, and they had invited me to Rewired, and uh, it was just something about it, just the environment, uh, the community was, uh, was very strong and it was really attractive to me. Um, I really liked the people there, I liked the friendships that I built, um, but was kind of turned off by, by the worship aspect, only because it was, it was powerful and it was, it was different than anything I had ever seen or felt before. Um, so I think that was something that was very intimidating to me, but something that you know, brought me back every single time. Well, you know, it was, it was one night. Um, I've been going there for multiple months. And, um, you know, I, my grandmother just passed away a few days prior. And, uh, but there was something else that was really itching at my heart. And, um, you know, I remember just being extremely emotional and just tears coming down and, and uh, and just shaking uncontrollably, you know, this 20-year-old this tough guy, Marine, who was just broken down in the middle of the sanctuary. And I think it was at that po moment where um, I really felt God saying, Graham, you've been running for too long, you know. Um, the life you're living, the life you've been consumed in, that's gone, you're mine. And, um, you know, it was really a, a cleansing moment for me. You know, uh, God's been doing some really cool things in my life. Uh, I think um, I've, uh, man, he's, he's really grabbed a hold of my heart in a, in a radical way. And uh, a year ago, I felt kind of a, a push towards ministry, um, but fought it off just with kind of different discouragements from other people and, and kind of felt like maybe, you know, do the real job thing and, and do ministry on the side. And, um, you know, uh, I recently, um, got a job as a youth director and, and um, I'm looking to get married here in the next couple months so 
Um, you know, God's really uh, changing my life in a lot of ways and, and really affirming me that, uh, you know, ministry is it and serving Him, though it's going to be a tough road, it's, it's going to be complete fulfillment.